Hey everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about basics of Excel. In our today's session, we will be discussing about what is autofill, what is flash fill, and what is text to columns. Very useful when you are working with data. When you want to do a repeated task, you can use flash fill. When you want to autofill the columns, you can use the autofill. And if you want to convert a text into a column, in that case, you can use text to column options. Let's see how these functions work over here. First of all, let's talk about autofill. Suppose if I have written one, and in all the cells I want one to be written, I'll just drag it simply like this without clicking anything. Just drag it. Okay. Let's do it once again. Uh, go towards the end of the cell, click on this button and drag it. And here we have one in each row. Now, if I press Ctrl and then if I drag it, in that case, you can see it is filling the values automatically. This is called autofill. Uh, so here we have values that are filled automatically. If you want to fill more of them, you can just again click on Ctrl, drag it over and you can go up to 19 and so on. This is what autofill is, which allows you to fill your values automatically. Similarly, suppose if you have some names written, for example, I'm just writing some names. So I have written some names over here and now if in a, a new column you are asked to obtain the surnames. In that case, what you can do is you can just write Geller, the first name. And as soon as you write B for the next one, it will detect the pattern automatically for you and fill the values. As soon as you will press enter, all the values will be filled for you automatically. Guys, this is called flash fill. Flash will allow Excel to detect pattern that you are writing in a new column. And based on that pattern, it will fill rest of the values for you. These values could be anything. These could be the names as well. So suppose if I write Monica over here and again if I write P, it will give all the names over here. So as soon as I press enter again, now I have names in a different columns and surnames in the different column. If you want to create a column for that as well, like if you want to give it a column name as well, you can give it a column name as well. So this is how flash fill works. It just not works on text solely. So suppose if you have numbers written or if you have written any data and in between you have hash and one, two, three, four. Again, some uh, values are written and we have hash 2, 3, 4, 5. We have some values, hash 2, 2, 3, 3. Some values again, hash 8, 8, double 9. And I'm just writing 4 to 5 values for this. Okay. So, suppose if here, if I start writing hash 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, if I start writing hash, you can see it also detects the numbers as well. It also detects the symbol as well. It will just recognize the pattern that you are writing in a new column and it will fill the whole format for you in the new column. So this is how it works. Again, if I press enter and all the data is over here in front of you. So this is how again flash fill works. Moving ahead, let's talk about text to columns. How does text to column works? For example, if I have the very same example, let's remove this one. And if I have the very same example, I have these values, right? Okay. I want to create a name in one column. I want to create surname in another column. I want names in one column. So I want surnames in another column. All I need to do is I need to go on data tab. In data tab, you will find text to columns. Just click on text to columns. And here we have two options. One is delimited. One is fixed in length. So if you want to extract fixed length you can click on fixed length and if you want to use a delimiter this delimiter could be anything it could be a space it could be a hash it could be a at the rate symbol it could be a hyphen underscore or anything so here in our case it's a space let's click on next uh, it also gives us the option that oh, what is the delimiter for you for in our case it's a space and as soon as I have clicked on space see when I don't click on space there is in the data preview there is nothing happening but as soon as I click on space, you can see the names are separated and the surnames are separated in another column. And as soon as I click on next, uh, it's not a date, it's a ge it's general value. So let's click on finish and we have names in one column and surnames in another. This is how text to column works. It also works with a fixed length as well. So suppose you have been given some phone numbers. And you want to extract last four digits of each value. In that case, what you can do, again, you can choose the same text to columns option. 
Now this time we do not have a delimiter over here but we know that we need to extract the last four values. We can use fixed width over here and we can click on next button. Now you can see over here the guidelines are given that if you want to create a break line you just need to click at the desired position. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 over here. I will just click and I will be getting four numbers from each row. As soon as I click on next and then this would be again a general and click on finish and we are done. So last four digits are over here. You can do it with the help of flash fill as well or you can do it with the help of text to columns as well. Both the functions will work for you. If the flash fill doesn't work for you properly then you can use text to column. But text to column has one limitation in case of width. Suppose let's say some numbers has lesser values. Okay. So over here, we have values like this. Okay, I'll just remove this one. Okay, now from these given values, I want to again extract last four digits. Okay, and take, let's go for text to columns and we'll go for a fixed width. We'll click on next. I want to extract last four digits. So now you can see last four cannot be extracted from here. Here in the first row we have four digits, in the next row we have three, in one of the rows we also have two digits. So it has limitations as well but how to fix that limitation we will be discussing about that in the upcoming sessions where we will be discussing about functions that are there in Excel when we will be learning about functions. So I hope guys ki after this session it is clear that how we can use autofill, flash fill or even text to columns. In our next session, we will be talking about data validation in Excel. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session.